as the Philippine Coast Guard flagship vessel, left Escoda for repositioning purposes. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has ordered the military to maintain a presence in the disputed waters, following the pullout of the BRP Teresa Magbanua after five months' deployment in the West Philippine Sea. BRP Teresa Magbanua leaves Escoda Shoal with mission accomplished, stopping China from potential reclamation. This repositioning also allows the flagship vessels to undergo needed repairs, but Manila will soon return to Escoda stronger, to maintain its presence and continue to assert its sovereign rights and jurisdiction, and monitor illegal activities in the area. For now, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has ordered the military to maintain a presence in the disputed Escoda Shoal. The country can maintain its presence in the disputed area in a number of ways, such as radar, flybys of armed forces of the Philippines aircraft, and other modalities for maritime domain awareness. These includes aid in technicalities from ally nations such as the United States, Japan and Australia. Philippine top officials allayed concerns that the pullout of the BRP Teresa Magbanua, the biggest vessel of the Philippine Coast Guard, was a sign that the Philippine government is giving up its claim on Escota Shoal. That's a wrong point of view. Even if Teresa Magbanua left, it did not diminish Manila's presence in the area because they have other ways to monitor and cover the area. The main reasons for sending the PCG vessel to its home port in Palawan was humanitarian, as several of the personnel manning required immediate medical attention. Admiral Ronnie Gavin has ordered the deployment of another PCG vessel to Escota Shoal once the big waves in the area have subsided. The whys in the Magbanua's forced pullout are easy to understand. First, there was bad weather since early last week. Second, basic supplies were scarce. Finally, the health and safety of its crew were a concern. They'd been out for sea longer than the Magbanua's usual deployments. Personnel were dehydrated and sick. The decision of the commandant of the Philippine Coast Guard, Admiral Bonnie Hildewan, to pull out the rest of Magbanua is a decision that he made uh, because of the welfare of the, the Filipino Coast Guard vessel, uh, the seaworthiness of the vessel, and again, the most uh, compelling factor is obviously the bad weather condition. Thank you, sir. This repositioning will allow the Magbanua to address the medical needs of some of her crew, undergo needed repairs, and allow her crew to enjoy a well-deserved furlough and reunion with their loved ones. The Philippines maintained that the withdrawal from Sabina was not a defeat, rejecting comparisons to the Scarborough Shoal, which Manila lost to Beijing, after a similar months-long standoff in 2012. It would be impossible for China to totally stop the Philippines from sending its ships around the 137 square kilometer Sabina Shoal. The Philippine Coast Guard can carry out whatever it takes to make sure that China will not be able to occupy and even reclaim Escota Shoal. The Philippines have other Coast Guard vessels that may have been or may already be proceeding to Escota Shoal, Terriella said without providing details, citing operational security considerations. Philippine Coast Guard flagship vessel has been victim to the worst in the West Philippine Sea, as tensions rise between the superpower China and the Philippines. The BRP Teresa Magbanua has survived it all, proudly flying the Philippine flag over Escota Shoal, never mind that there's been a gaping hole in her hull since late August 2024. BRP Teresa Magbanua would return to Escota Shoal after undergoing repairs, along with additional forces from the PCG and the armed forces of the Philippines. Once resupplied, repaired, and the crew recharged, BRP Teresa Magbanua will be in tip-top shape to resume her mission, along with other PCG and AFP assets, as defenders of Philippine sovereignty. The Philippine Coast Guard's BRP Teresa Magbanua has officially left Escota Shoal after more than five months at sea. Marking the end of an extended deployment that highlighted the Philippines' commitment to defending its sovereignty in the West Philippine Sea. Despite overwhelming challenges, including repeated confrontations with Chinese vessels, the Magbanua and its crew stood firm, reinforcing the country's claim to its exclusive economic zone under international law. Executive Secretary Lucas Bursaman hailed the Magbanua's crew for their bravery and resilience during their deployment at Escota Shoal. Over the months, the vessel and its crew faced significant hardships, including hostile encirclement by a flotilla of Chinese ships and severe weather conditions. 
Supplies dwindled, and provisions had to be delivered by helicopter due to the constant interference from Chinese vessels attempting to block resupply missions. Despite these obstacles, the Magbanua remained stationed at Escota Shoal, a strategic location just 75 nautical miles off Palawan. The vessel's presence was critical in preventing China from further encroaching on Philippine waters. However, after suffering structural damage from a deliberate ramming incident by a Chinese Coast Guard ship on August 31, the Magbanua was compelled to return to Palawan for repairs and medical assistance for its crew. While the Magbanua's departure marks a temporary absence, it raises concerns about the future of Escota Shoal. With no immediate replacement vessel announced, there is a risk that China may attempt to consolidate control over the area, as it did following the 2012 standoff at Scarborough Shoal. China's aggressive tactics in these waters are part of a broader strategy to assert dominance over the South China Sea, despite a 2016 ruling by the Permanent Court of Arbitration that invalidated its expansive territorial claims. Senator Francis Tolentino, chair of the Special Committee on Philippine Maritime and Admiralty Zones, underscored the importance of maintaining a continuous Philippine presence at Escota Shoal. He called for an increased deployment of Philippine ships in the area to uphold the nation's sovereign rights under international law, particularly the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. As the Magbanua heads back to port, diplomatic efforts to resolve tensions between the Philippines and China continue. During a recent meeting in Beijing, Chinese officials urged the Philippines to withdraw the Magbanua from Escota Shoal, a request the Philippines has firmly rejected. Philippine Foreign Undersecretary Maria Teresa Lazaro reiterated that Escota Shoal lies within the country's EEZ, affirming Manila's right to maintain its presence in the area. Despite China's demands, the Philippines remains steadfast in asserting its maritime rights. The National Maritime Council emphasized that the Magbanua would return to the area once repairs are completed, alongside other assets of the Philippine Coast Guard and the armed forces of the Philippines. The Magbanua's deployment was more than just a mission, it was a powerful symbol of the Philippines' determination to protect its sovereignty and uphold international law. As Chinese ships continue to harass Filipino vessels and encroach on Philippine waters, the resolve of the Philippine government and its maritime forces remains strong. The Philippines' commitment to diplomacy, coupled with its increasing naval capabilities, signals that the country is prepared to defend its territorial rights in the face of Chinese aggression. However, as tensions continue to rise, it is crucial that the international community supports Manila in its efforts to ensure peace and stability in the region. The BRP Teresa Magbanua may have temporarily left Escota Shoal, but the battle for sovereignty in the West Philippine Sea is far from over. The Philippines' unwavering stance and future deployments will play a crucial role in safeguarding its maritime territories and standing up to China's relentless ambitions. Contrary to the claims presented in recent Chinese rhetoric, the withdrawal of the BRP Teresa Magbanua from Escota Shoal is far from an admission of defeat or a signal that the Philippines is abandoning its rightful stance in the West Philippine Sea. Rather, it is a necessary and pragmatic move, one that reflects the country's commitment to ensuring the safety of its crew and the integrity of its assets while continuing to assert its sovereignty within its own exclusive economic zone. The departure of the BRP Teresa Magbanua, after months of enduring dangerous conditions, including Chinese blockades and harassment, demonstrates the Philippines' resilience and strategic resolve in defending its sovereign rights in the West Philippine Sea. It is important to recognize that the vessel's return to port is not a retreat but a logistical necessity, allowing the ship to undergo repairs and resupply. The Philippines has never backed down from its position that Escota Shoal, like other contested areas within the EEZ, falls squarely under its jurisdiction, as reaffirmed by the 2016 ruling by the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague. China's narrative that the Philippines is returning to the right track by withdrawing is a gross mischaracterization of the situation. The decision to bring the BRP Teresa Magbanua back to port underscores Manila's adherence to responsible and rules-based maritime conduct, in stark contrast to China's continued provocations and disregard for international law. China's assertion of sovereignty over Escota Shoal and its surrounding waters lacks any legal basis. The 2016 Hague ruling decisively invalidated China's expansive claims in the South China Sea, 
yet Beijing continues to ignore this legally binding decision, opting instead to escalate tensions through aggressive maneuvers, the deployment of maritime militia, and the militarization of artificial islands. The Philippine government has consistently sought to resolve these disputes peacefully, calling for adherence to international law, specifically the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. In contrast, China's refusal to engage in good-faith dialogue, its attempts to rewrite established maritime boundaries, and its efforts to undermine the rule of law in the region only serve to destabilize the South China Sea. Despite China's attempts to frame the Philippines' actions as provocations, the reality is that Manila has remained steadfast in its peaceful assertion of its rights. The deployment of the BRP Teresa Magbanua to Escota Shoal was part of a broader strategy to protect Filipino fishermen, monitor illegal activities, and affirm the Philippines' sovereignty over its EEZ. China's continued harassment of Philippine vessels, including dangerous maneuvers and ramming incidents, only highlights its aggressive posture in the region. The Philippines remains committed to upholding peace and stability in the South China Sea. The temporary return of the BRP Teresa Magbanua is part of a regular rotation of assets, and the Philippines will continue to maintain a presence in the West Philippine Sea to safeguard its maritime rights. This is not a signal of retreat but a demonstration of resilience and strategic resolve in the face of overwhelming odds. The international community must not be swayed by China's narrative of events in the South China Sea. As a responsible member of the global community, the Philippines will continue to rely on diplomatic channels and multilateral mechanisms to resolve disputes, as it has consistently done. However, it is crucial that regional and global powers reaffirm their support for the rule of law and the 2016 arbitral ruling, which remains the cornerstone of legal claims in the South China Sea. The Philippines' path forward is clear. To continue asserting its rights under international law, to resist China's coercive tactics, and to maintain a presence in contested waters. The withdrawal of the BRP Teresa Magbanua is not the end of the Philippines' efforts to defend its EEZ, but a necessary step in a broader, ongoing strategy to uphold sovereignty and regional peace. China's portrayal of the Philippines' withdrawal from Escota Shoal as a victory for its aggressive policies is misleading and disingenuous. The Philippines remains committed to defending its sovereign rights in the West Philippine Sea, in line with international law and the 2016 arbitral ruling. The path forward is not one of capitulation, but of resilience and continued resistance to unlawful actions. The international community must stand with the Philippines as it navigates these turbulent waters, ensuring that peace, stability, and the rule of law prevail in the region. China's accusation that the Philippines is seeking to involve the United States and other external powers in the South China Sea dispute is a weak attempt to shift the focus away from its own aggressive actions. The mutual defense treaty between the Philippines and the United States is a legitimate security arrangement designed to protect the Philippines from external aggression. It is not, as China suggests, a tool for land grabbing or provocation. The Philippines, like any sovereign nation, has the right to seek international support when its territorial integrity is threatened. The involvement of the United States and other allies is aimed at upholding international law, promoting stability, and ensuring that the South China Sea remains a free and open maritime corridor. China's calls for the Philippines to withdraw its ships and personnel from Shanbin Zhao are baseless and hypocritical. It is China that must cease its illegal activities in the West Philippine Sea, respect the sovereignty of its neighbors, and adhere to international law. The Philippines has every right to defend its territory and assert its legal claims, as recognized by the international community. The world must continue to stand with the Philippines in rejecting China's unlawful claims and aggressive actions in the South China Sea. Peace in the region can only be achieved through respect for the rule of law, adherence to international agreements, and a commitment to dialogue, not through intimidation, coercion, and unilateral actions.